Field and Record Validation in Access 2010 is a very powerful feature. Let's go ahead and create a new web database and we'll just go ahead and uh, add a few numbers into it. So these are fields that we want to set up some validation rules against and we'll go ahead and preview that in the browser. We've got number one, two, and three and let's go ahead with number two and using the validation option on the toolbar we're going to create a field validation rule for number two that basically says this number needs to be uh, greater than 10. So that's done at the field level. Let's also, after we're done creating the rule, create a message so that the user, when they're working in the browser, gets an informative dialog telling them that that number needs to be greater than 10. Now the next bit of validation we want to set up is at the record level. So we'll go further down on the list and create a record validation rule. And here we'll basically use the expression builder to say that number one and number two need to equal number three before we go ahead and commit that record back to access services. And again, we'll create a message to tell the user if they've made a mistake with the data entry so that it doesn't just generate a system error, it's something more informative. After we've got that all put together, we'll go ahead and save the table. And based on the table, let Access create a web-based form. And that web-based form, of course, will be viewable inside the browser. We'll go up to the File menu and publish our small web database out to SharePoint 2010. And then after the publishing process is done, we'll go inside the browser and take a quick look to see if our field and record validation rules are in fact correctly set up. So now that the publish has succeeded, we'll go ahead and click on the link. That will invoke Internet Explorer. And from the browser, we can go ahead and view the form that we created and test things out. First thing we'll do is try to put a number into the second field that is less than 10. And you'll see when we go ahead and try to create a new record, we do get an error that the record is not saved. And the user is presented with a dialog telling them that the number must be greater than 10. So we know that works. Let's now go ahead and create, um, test our record level validation. We'll create a entry for number two and number one that is not equal to the entry in number three and again we get the dialog that we created telling the user exactly why that record was not saved. We get everything straight go ahead and click the next record you see up in the top right corner we do have an updated record and everything looks okay.